Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're going to talk solo. Not a shredding guitar solos, but solos in your DAW. This one's going to be a real quick one, so let's dive straight into the DAW and get talking right away. Since we're talking about solo, let's talk about what it actually does first. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our lead vocal channel here, and we're going to hit solo, just with nothing going on. And there's no reason to listen, because we're just talking about what's happening. When we hit solo, we can see that the yellow solo button illuminates. But more importantly, and what's actually happening, is every other channel is getting muted. This way, you're only listening to the one or two channels you're listening to. Let's take this channel back out of solo and take a look at something. If we hover our cursor over the solo button, we see this little pop-up where it says solo safe, use shift. Well, what is solo safe? That's easy. If you look at any effects channel, solo safe is saying when something is soloed that I want to listen to these channels as well without having to go over and activate it. The reason an, an effects channel has this already by default applied is because if I'm soloing my lead vocal channel, I may want to hear the effects that are happening or that I'm sending to. But how can you go in and turn solo safe on or off? Well, it says it right there. Use shift. If I hold shift on my keyboard and then click the S on my lead vocal channel, that just became green. I will always hear this lead vocal even if I solo any other track, like the instrumental or the ad-libs. Everything that is solo safe will always be soloed when one channel is. And to deactivate, you just shift click it again. Studio One is actually pretty smart about how solos work with tracks going through a bus. I'm gonna take these green tracks and send it to this music bus here. Now, the music bus doesn't have solo safe enabled. But if I go to either one of these tracks and activate solo on it, it passes the solo through the bus and then through my main outputs. So I don't need to activate solo safe because Studio One knows that the audio is traveling through this bus. Another smart thing that Studio One did is if I solo the bus itself, it then solos the two or multiple tracks going to that bus underneath it. Now let's say you were working really fast and instead of making an effects channel, you made a bus. It's the same kind of thing. You just shift click the S. Now you've just enabled solo safe on that bus. Having the flexibility of enabling solo safe on any of your channels gives you great opportunity as you're working through your mix and just trying to find those little things that you're trying to fix. You can go in and solo safe your lead vocal. This way, anytime you go into a track and solo it, you're always hearing the vocal or whatever track you want and have a reference of where you are. That's all for now. If you found anything in this video informative, please like and share the video. And if you have a question, please ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.